Well, hello YouTube friends. Today I'm going to show you how to take the alternator out of your Saab 2 litre petrol. <coughs> the alternator is situated on the front of, front of the engine down here on the right hand side. That's the right hand side from the driver's perspective. I'll show you that in a moment. But you'll need to get access to it. And so first of all, You'll need to undo the large Jubilee clip that holds the air intake pipe on, disconnect that, move it out of the way. You also need to disconnect and remove the engine ECU. So I've disconnected one connection already. I would suggest that you use a small screwdriver and ease, ease the tab out and the lever up at the same time. I've also applied some penetrating oil uh, liberally to lubricate everything there because this hasn't been removed in a long time. And then the final step, pull that out. There you go. So now you can probably see the alternator is down here underneath the ECU at the front uh, right hand corner of the engine. Once you've moved the uh, intake pipe out of the way if you uh, undo the two bolts that hold this bracket, very gently ease back the tab here. So you can now lift the bracket off and disconnect it from that. And then disconnect this pipe. By pushing in the blue tab, pulling out just like you do for a fuel filter. The ECU undo four bolts. This one here has an earth connection so we mustn't forget to put that back on at the end. the four bolts are removed, put those safe and hey presto the ECU comes out of the way. You could also pull off some of these vacuum hose connections just put them off to one side. Right, to undo these uh, squeeze pipe clips I actually find a pair of pipe grips to be really useful. Set them so that they've got about a centimetre there at the ends to loosen the pipe's grip on its spigot and then it pulls off relatively easily. There's also a harness under here harness connection under here for the uh, injectors. Now in our quest to remove the alternator we've now reached a very important stage in the proceedings because we need to disconnect the cabling from the alternator and of course one of those cables is the main power cable which is permanently connected to the battery in order that we don't get any kind of short circuit, we must disconnect the battery before we disconnect the power cables from the alternator. So the simplest way to do that, 10 millimeter socket, disconnect the earth. In fact, what we can do is take one of the rubber bolts out of this bracket over the negative terminal. So now we can safely disconnect the alternator. To undo the main power union to the uh, alternator you'll need a 12 millimeter socket on your, your spanner. It's on the back of the alternator and there's also a small connector on the side of the alternator. Well friends, we've reached another critical phase. 
in order to disconnect the drive belt from the alternator we need to access the drive belt through the wheel arch with the wheel with the wheel arch protector removed so as you can see I've supported the car on an axle stand just behind the front right uh, jacking point and removed the wheel and uh, now I'll show you how to get the uh, wheel arch liner out. So to remove the wheel arch liner you'll need 8 and 10 millimeter spanners or sockets and, and a suitable driver and there's about 12 I think it's 12 or maybe 13 screws to undo. The uh, 8 millimeter screws look like that 10 millimeter nuts that look like that. Pull it off at the back first. My suggestion. easily. That's the crankshaft pulley and there's the auxiliary drive belt which is what we need to uh, remove or at least free off so that we can get the alternator out. That there is the tensioner pulley and the tensioner arm which just conveniently just here has a little square hole in it which is just the right size to put a 3 8 drive um, ratchet on so that now I can pull the ratchet down and lift up and loosen the belt. Having slackened the belt off, I've removed it from around the crankshaft pulley, which in turn enables us to remove it from around the alternator pulley. You can probably see there are four bolts that hold the alternator on. One, two, and then another two, the same as that underneath the alternator. Now I've already removed those. They are the European Torx type bolt head and they use an E12 socket. But, like I'm doing here, you can use an ordinary 10 millimeter hex socket to undo them. It will work. Oh, guess what? It started to rain on me. There we go, another one. Again with me pipe pliers, remove the clip. Having got the alternator out of the car, you can now see on the back of the alternator the part number 01244250040. Well, folks, all that remains now is to put the alternator back into the car. Dropping it into place past this hose was obviously much easier than getting it out, and unfortunately, the weather forecast for today was actually very good, so I wasn't expecting rain to stop play. So I'm um, just sticking a, an old cloth just in my throttle body there, just to make sure that I don't get any water in. 
and as it says in all the best workshop manuals reassembly is the Top the uh, coolant reservoir up. I've got both both heated seats on full power, front and rear fogs, dip beam, heated rear screen, fourteen point four. Absolutely everything is turned on now. 14.25 and one final thing with it being winter and things like uh, heated rear window and heated seats interior fan and lights on all the time when you're driving to work in the dark in the mornings with the alternator performance having been a little bit suspect definitely down on performance it was probably having a hard time keeping the battery charged so having fixed the alternator now going to leave the battery on charge with the charger for a few hours and make sure that it's fully topped up I'm also going to check the battery fluid level because if the battery has been heavily charged on occasions it may well have uh, lost a little fluid as it happens no it hasn't on this occasion but it's well worthwhile checking. Thank you for watching friends. I hope this video helped you out in some way, solving a problem or saving you some time or money. Feel free to ask questions or make comments. And if you've got any suggestions for other videos that you'd like to see. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.